this video i'm going to show you sky reels image to video model i've made a workflow uh, with lora and everything its settings workflow is in the description so this is the model this is the github page sorry image to video so you can check out the Git github link in this, in the description so this is the model right over your image to video this is the model but we will download the Kajai Sky Reels version. So this is the GGFU file over here. All these. And there's a saved answer. FP8 version as well. So I'm going to download this one. This one over here. So I've made a workflow for this. So let's get to the workflow. So this is the workflow. You can download this workflow in the description of my uh, YouTube channel. So, if you want to use the GGFU one, just add this uh, node right over here and connect this model to model and move the load diffusion model. So, if you want that, you can do that. Okay, but I am not going to use the GGFU model. In this video, I'm going to use the FP8 model. So, if you want to use that, you can use that. So, as you can see, this is the image that you are working with. And these, these are the positive and negative from right over you. I'm going to show you some examples that how do sky reels work. So, as you can see, if you haven't watched my previous video on sky reels uh, watch that to know all the things you need to download before doing it as you can see the cfg is 7 control out third generation fixed i am using the shed beta scheduler and 20 steps so this is the result that i got it's good but the glasses, as you can see, are not proper. But you can fix that by giving a new prompt or increasing the steps. And as you guys know, uh, the prompt, the positive prompt was rather small. So for this sky reels, you need uh, bigger and you have to explain the prompts as well. But I forgot to do that for these examples but in the later part of the video i have done that so as you can see this is a normal photo of a dog but uh, it's a bit weird as you can see there's something in his mouth or something like that so i'm gonna try another scheduler sgm uniform just to test out everything and let you guys know what is the best settings for this. And I'm going to change this fix to increment. And QPROM. I'm going to change this fix to increment as well. Because I want to increment the photo that I got. And let's see what are the results. So I'll just fast forward it a bit. So this is the result that I got. So as you can see, the mouth is uh, better. And the tongue is sticking out of the dog. This feels more natural and realistic. So you can choose anything. Uh, switch between beta, SG, uniform, anything and just try whatever you like so this is the photo and this is the prompt uh, let me guys show you the prompt so basically in this prompt i have told uh, to uh, lift her arm up as she's posing so let's see what the results are so Again, this is the photo. This is the prompt. 
Uh, let me guys show you. I'm using beta in this one and 20 steps. So this, as you can see, pretty good. She is posing. She's raising, lifting her arm up. Doing some kind of a pose. Weird pose, but she is posing. Let me just save this image. So now I'm going to add a Laura to this workflow just to see how good this works with a Laura. So, so as you can see, I have added a Laura and everything else is the same. I've just added Laura and this is the Laura that I'm using high speed drone shot from Civit AI. You can download this. The trick, as you can see, the trigger word is that low altitude, high speed. So I'm gonna put it in the LoRa folder. Yo, in Hanoi video. Oh, I've already put it. So I'm just gonna copy the trigger word and. As you can see here. So in this, I've just made this prompt from ChatGPT. I told ChatGPT to put this trigger over and this is the photo. As you can see, these are the, I'm still using beta. As you can see, this is the outcome and it is pretty pretty accurate and very good and one more thing that i have to show you guys that i'm using uh, model sampling nine not seven it helps so i'm gonna push this workflow for free in my description below the website of mine. Okay, now I'm gonna use SG uniform as well to show you guys the outcome. So, this is the outcome. Hmm, pretty good, but it's your choice. Which one did you like more? Comment in the section. Comment below which one did you like more, beta or the SG uniform one. And one more thing, I want to show you this also, if you guys want. This took me around uh, 1400 seconds or 1200 seconds right over here. So this is the end of the video. If you guys like this video, need more videos like this, then do like, comment and subscribe on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.